All right, so I have the Harley Benton, what is it? The SC200 BK Student Series, whatever. They got like long names for all of these. Basically, this is a 90 some dollar guitar. I think it's $98. Of course, then you got shipping, this and that. But we're gonna do some tones because I'm about to modify this. So I wanna just give you my first initial impressions out the box. I have another unboxing video where I unboxed six guitars from Toma Music. I'll link it in the whatever corner that it's at. But I was extremely impressed with this. And there's a big reason why, because my first order from Toman had the ST20 HSS. That one was about the same price. They were both about $98. For $98, that was a great guitar. I modified that too. I'll have a full playlist. The thing looks pretty sweet. I went with a completely different look. Obviously it's subjective, but I did it to my taste. And that's what I did. So that guitar was decent, decent. This is actually really good. That one had some fret work that needed to get done. It was pretty sharp. This, I cannot believe how smooth this fret work is. I've had this sitting around now for, I don't know, probably close to a week. So it, you know, when it comes to weather and everything, no issues. I've had guitars like that where the first day or two it felt okay. And then on like day three, I felt some sprout starting to come out. This guy, it's been like a week and the frets are done so damn well. There's zero sharp edges on this. I keep stroking the neck. I don't know how that looks on the camera, <laughs> but they're literally, it feels so good, this neck. Besides the fact that, you know, it's a little, it's, it's glossy, it's whatever, but I'm talking about the frets. So let's just stick to the frets. They're done so well for a sub $100 guitar. I am blown away. There's no high frets. The action is fairly low. Um, I think I checked the truss rod and I didn't have to adjust it. I need to check it again, but I'm going to be replacing everything. Pickups, all everything. I'm going for a completely different aesthetic and sound. But again, for $98 and this being their so-called student series, I feel like this is a step above and it really punches above its weight class as far as a sub $100. I bought a few Glary guitars, which I'm still working on that unboxing because I don't even want to work on that video because it was it was so bad. Those guitars, they are terrible out the box. The Strat style didn't even work. Electronics were trash. Like literally it didn't even work. It plugged into the amp. It would be it would have it wouldn't even make sound. It would make sound. And then like a minute later, it would just go out for five minutes the lp style like literally I, I cut myself there was skin hanging because the sharp frets the fretboard was half chopped off anyway that's for another video but for sub 100 dollars guitars the harley ben sc 200 could have been luck of the draw i don't know about their quality control when it comes to their low budgets like this but i can highly recommend this so what we're gonna do right now is do some tones i'm no professional when it comes to playing or anything um, I just love guitar. I'm getting back into it. I'm plugged into GarageBand. I have it currently on the Brit and Clean. We're going to do a few clean tones starting on the bridge, middle, neck. And then we are going to, and I'm going to switch the audio. Right now you're listening to the camera and I'll switch it to the computer audio when you could hear the actual. So for clean, I'm going to be using, like I said, the Brit and Clean channel. And then for the overdrive, I think, let me take a look if I can see, uh, double driven. It says double driven. I forget if it's under, let me just do it real quick. Yeah, so for the distorted one or overdriven or whatever you want to call it, it's under the crunch and then it's called double driven. I don't go to the one above that, which is literally called distorted because it just has so much feedback. It's weird. So we're just going to use um, that one. So for now, I'm going to do Britain clean. Oh, I got a knife in my pocket. It keeps wanting to make this sit weird. Yeah, we'll do some tones and then we're going to use this as a comparison. So be sure to subscribe because we're swapping out these pickups with some GFS quick plug pickups. It's a pretty unique setup. I'm doing something a little wonky with this both looks aesthetics and the pickup they're not both going to be legit humbuckers so subscribe and stay tuned we're going to get the initial sound clips for a future video and then you guys can hear how it sounds just out the box um hopefully we stay in tune the guitar is still fairly new i just tuned it up 
I did notice my fingers got pretty black. So yeah, like I said, the strings I definitely want to change. They feel pretty heavy. They feel pretty damn heavy. So we're going to just do some simple clean tones and then move on to some distorted tones. That sounds a little distorted for clean. I gotta lower the gain, give me a second. Okay, that's better. I was playing a different guitar and I had to turn up the gain on my Scarlett 2i2 or whatever it's called. And I could hear it almost had like a distorted sound. So I lowered it a little bit. This should be good. Let's play that again. Uh, right now we're in the bridge and we'll kind of go bridge, middle, neck, and then just do, like I said, I'm no pro. We're just gonna do a little something. So while I'm editing this video, I wasn't too happy with the tones that I got when I had my car, my car, my guitar directly plugged into GarageBand. Now I do have an audio interface. I'm using the Scarlett, uh, what is it called? The 2i2, I believe. And I have my guitar plugged into there and then that into GarageBand. And I thought that would help clean things up. But as you can hear, it still doesn't sound too clean. And it seems like whenever I'm plugged directly into GarageBand, you know, even using an audio interface, if it's like a Stratocaster, a single coil, the clean tones are clean. But if it's a humbucker, like in this example, the clean tones have a little bit of dirt, distortion, and crunch to them still. I wasn't really a fan of that. So what I did the following day was I did the old school method. Um, I basically plugged my guitar into my amplifier. It's not the best amplifier in the world. It's actually the only one I own. It's a Line 6, I believe the 75 watt. It's pretty old. It's got all presets and whatever. But I went, turned the knob all the way to the left for the clean channel, and then I have a crunch one, which uh, let me see what it is right now, just for reference for later. So the clean one, like I said, I just kind of turned the knob all the way to the left for amp models or whatever. And then for like the distortion that you're going to hear, it's pretty aggressive. It shows 01C Riggs R-I-G-G-S. So what I'm going to do right now is basically play the same exact chords that I just played, but using my amplifier. And then I'm recording with my iPhone, but I have an external microphone sitting next to the amplifier. And this is the best sound that I can get, but it truly shows the clean sounds of this guitar because as you just heard, those cleans were not really clean. So for the rest of this video, because I did record all of this amplifier with a microphone the following day, I'll probably mix in a little bit of GarageBand. I'm probably gonna cut out a lot of it because I wasn't too fond of the sound and just condense a couple pieces of that, but most likely put more of the amp with the microphone because you could hear the clean tones much better. The distorted tones, I forget, I'm in the middle of editing, so I don't know which ones I'll use. I'll probably show you a bit of both. So hopefully that kind of helps explain things. And as I grow and get better at this, I'll try and figure this out more. But drop a comment and let me know. If you use GarageBand with a humbucking guitar, a humbucker, how do you get clean tones? Can you? Or does it just default to being a little more distorted and overdriven in a way? So yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. So like I was just saying, I'm literally piecing this video together and inputting these little snippets as I'm editing right now and just seeing and or hearing those two back to back between the garage band and then the amplifier with the microphone going forward in this video, I'm just going to do the amplifier with microphone, the garage band. I don't know if I had the gain too high. I'm not sure what it was, but obviously it's not actually showing the clean tones. 
So unfortunately, I'm gonna cancel out most of what was done with GarageBand, at least for the clean, and then once we get to the distorted tones, we'll see, maybe I'll do a mix of both. But going forward, I just have a little bit, so we'll hear a couple more clean tones, again, through the amplifier with an external microphone recorded through the iPhone. Yeah, the frets are a little gritty, that's one thing I'm gonna say. But they're not high. I have not come across a high fret yet. I'm okay with gritty frets. Like even the fingerboard seems a little dry. Like I'm fine with doing little things like that. When I, you know, take it apart and we modify it, we're gonna have some fun with it, but I'm just, the neck, I still cannot get over. The, it's more the fingerboard, the fingerboard and the frets. The way the fingerboard and the frets are done, this should not be a sub $100 guitar. It thoroughly amazed. If they make this in like white or another color, I would pick this thing up in a heartbeat and just modify it and have fun with it. The tuners, like I said, it hasn't really been staying in tune that great, but it also could be because it's a newer guitar, maybe the strings weren't that stretched out yet. All right, so we did some clean tones. All right, let me put it on that crunch real quick. All right, so now I got an alarm going off on my phone watch thing. All right, so now, oh, what are the odds of that? Now I got a notification for Daryl Braun posing a new guitar video on YouTube as I'm recording a guitar YouTube video. Mr. Newbie over here seeing one of uh, his idols on YouTube posting a guitar video. Anyway, back to what we're supposed to be doing. We're gonna be playing some more aggressive grunge, uh, grunge distortion, whatever the hell you wanna call. Start the bridge, we'll do some tones, and then, like I said, it's gonna be really good for the future when I upgrade these pickups, so be sure to stick around and subscribe for that. Ah, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I've been really into like AFI, Saves the Day, and some bands like that, so I might just steal some of their songs for some riffs. Uh, let's see, let's think. <laughs>
I think that was all bridge. We did a little bit of um, sliding with the neck and other things. Again, I'm not pro or anything. I'm just getting back into guitar. I've been off and on for like 15 years. I know that sounds really weird, but there's literally be three years at a time where I don't pick it up, I'm trying to get back into it, hence the channel. So if you're interested in guitar, I got, I'm literally sitting in a room with over 20 and we're gonna be modifying a lot of them, including this, as I already mentioned. So from a um, intermediate, semi beginner, intermediate, getting back into guitar, I gotta say this SC200, hopefully I got the numbers right and the letters right, is a steal of a guitar for sub $100 if the quality control is good because mine is good. So as long as you know you receive something like this, I gotta say you're gonna be happy with it for the price. This plays phenomenal. I got, uh, you know, it, it's crazy. It plays so damn well. And I'm sure after a little bit of upgrading, that's more just for personal preference. And I'm also going through a lot of health stuff and I can't go out as much as I would like. So guitar music has really taken over a lot, which um, it's fine. It actually helps me get through everything I've been going through, which I'm not gonna get into in this video. But I think this uh, covers everything. If you have had experience with this guitar, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I would love to chat with you guys down there. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Give it a like if you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know the tone sound. I will edit this video in a bit and hopefully it sounds good. Using GarageBand, I've tried using my amp and then using a microphone, but I can't really dial that in too great. It was a little fuzzy sounding. So I'm trying to use Garage, trying to use GarageBand and sticking with Brit and Clean and the Double Driven or some other stuff. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video if you did like i said give it a like comment subscribe all that good stuff i really appreciate it and i will catch you guys in the next video talk to you guys in the comments thanks a lot